Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I'm your host, Pat Sun, and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash infidelity, where OP's cheating girlfriend had a taste of karma. Let's begin. I am really concerned about a woman I'm dating and some of her comments. Do I have the right to be concerned? Posted by Reddit user Sad Tacos. I am an emergency medicine physician, and I met a girl at the gym. She seemed nice and I asked her out. Turns out she is a nurse in the hospital I work at. We've been on five dates, and she has asked and commented several times on my debt. I thought that was weird. She also asked how much I made and when I wanted kids. Red flag! I said after three to four years because I want to pay off my school debts and have a strong financial backbone before having children. She asked if I would be willing to wait for two years. I said possibly, and she was happy that I could see her side. She commented that she wanted a four to $10,000 engagement ring in passing for the Instagram likes. She said she was joking. However, another comment was that she asked what my dream vehicle was, and I said a 1993 Silverado 4x4 truck. I want one because of my first vehicle, and I can maintain them easily. She said, again, jokingly that if I bought that truck, I would be driving alone in it. Is that also a red flag? Crimson. Then said just kidding. She also showed me houses in a park during a date and asked me which house I liked. She said she only likes fancy restaurants, like the keg and other steakhouses, somewhat expensive, in my city. She said Montana's was not fancy enough or something. However, the most concerning was that she asked if we had a child with trisomy 21, Down syndrome, if I would be okay with giving it up for adoption. She said a good friend of hers did that and had two healthy children after that. She was wondering what my opinions were and if that was okay. It bothered me. To me, this sounds like a person that would abandon you with the slightest hint of trouble. I was practically single for seven years due to medical school and residency. Also, everyone in medical school was really immature, and my emergency medicine residency was no different. So, my perceptions on these may be skewed. So I am curious if these are normal questions as you get older, have more stable careers, and become more advanced in age. I was just wondering if these are as concerning as I think they are. Thoughts and opinions. Edit. Yes, this is real. This is not a joke. Yes, she said all of this and more. Some mentioned she sounds like she wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And yes, she did say that now that I recall. She wants to be a stay-at-home mom. She also did ask how much I make an hour in my job. I knew I needed to leave her, but I was torn. Now I am not. Also, my friends and brother give horrible advice about this stuff. Thank you for all the advice. Yes, this is real. It's not fanfic or rage bait. This is really happening in my life. Thank you all for the advice, encouragement, funny comments, and strength to move on and learn from this experience. Thank you so much. I mean it. My goodness me, OP. You need to get away from this woman before she drains your bank account. She also sounds like the kind of person that will abandon you when someone with an even bigger wallet arrives. Please run away from her as soon as you can. And for now, just focus on your career and getting rid of your student debts. And now for today's second story. My cheating ex got her karma. Posted by Reddit user Seafish. I found out my ex-girlfriend of three years was a pathological liar and serial cheater. She has had multiple relationships while exclusively with me. I was considered in her eyes as the provider boyfriend material, but she wanted attention and gathered other men and also formed a relationship with them. <coughs> I had one thing tied with her financially, which was she was on my auto policy for her new car. When I found out she was cheating, I decided to get together with her one last time and told her she needed to find new insurance because of an emergency. At that same moment I asked her several questions regarding certain situations where the cheating took place, but she always had stories. I already had the hardcore evidence. The next day, I sent her a text saying to get new insurance and she never responded, so I ghosted her after that and blocked her. I unblocked her a couple weeks later assuming the coast was clear. She never bothered messaging me, so I assumed she knew what was going on. A month later, I got an urgent call from her saying she needed to speak with me. I already knew what it was about so I decided to see if she will tell me the truth, so I met up with her and she told me she's being penalized for driving uninsured and she has to pay a high premium for her car on top of her car loan. 
<laughs> As I confronted her about the cheating, she kept lying and saying that it is not true, even though I had the evidence. I left saying I can't help you, I told you, you didn't listen and obviously you don't care since you never bothered to talk to your boyfriend who just disappeared. She called me several times after that, begging me to help her, but I knew she was just trying to pin me with paying her insurance. I gave her a final message, tell your boyfriends to help you out with that and blocked her for good. During the month of not speaking, she posted pictures of her boyfriend, which I didn't see until after the final message. She practically was trying to rub it in my face but I unknowingly thought she already changed her insurance. Apparently, she thought I wouldn't have the balls too. Funny thing is, I've been cheated on before and this was only a small hit to my self-esteem. I didn't shed a tear but it did hurt for a bit. I never did bad to her, I actually cared a lot about her, but she didn't she value that. No one else would give her insurance even though she's a clean driver. But I did. Karma's a bitch. You handle this fantastically OP. I'm glad that you stood your ground, and it's very rare for cheaters to actually get some form of consequences for their actions. She's the idiot that took you for a fool, but you proved her wrong. Well done. And now for today's final story. I got cheated on by my girlfriend. Posted by Reddit user Filthy Contrarian. Generally I'm a quiet guy, but I know how to have fun and make people laugh when I want to and I make friends fairly easily. I'm definitely not that confrontational if it can be avoided. Typically, what I lack in terms of assertiveness I've felt I've made up for by getting pretty big in the gym. I'm only 5 feet 8, but I'm 175 pounds at around 14% body to fat and ever since I've developed this physique, I haven't really needed to assert myself in a super dominant fashion, I'm just respected for the most part. That was until this one douchebag got hired at my job. I work at Target full time while I'm doing a trade program on the side. I've wanted to get the fuck out of that store for two years now, but I've needed the money so I could pay rent. Anyway, this kid was hired in the tech department and I don't know what it is, but every sales rep we've ever had in that position has always had this stereotypical douchey persona. Most of the time, I've been able to banter with them just fine, but this kid was straight up disrespectful to me and only me. We'll call him Jake. I don't know if he just took my quietness as weakness or something, but every day he just wouldn't lay off on the quips, calling me a virgin and a bunch of stupid high school tier insults that were overdone past the point of being a funny back and forth. I eventually asked him what the fuck his issue was and told him to stop, which he kind of did, but it was the other shit he'd do that was just irritating. I swear every time I'd pass tech with the OPU cart, or if I ever saw him in the break room, he was always openly flirting with coworkers. Some of the girls in the clothes section would come over and talk to him a lot. He was already getting all this female attention on the second week on the job, which was honestly absurd to me. I wasn't necessarily jealous because I had a girlfriend, but just baffled they couldn't see this guy for the scumbag he was. He just came across like he had no self-control when it came to women. Problem is my girlfriend also works at Target with me. I've never had any trust issues with her at all or anything, and we're always playfully talking and laughing when we're prepping carts in the back or when we pass each other on the floor. But then one day, I was doing a standard batch and I saw her at the tech counter with Jake and it just struck a fucking nerve with me because she was laughing a bunch, and she was doing this hair twirling thing she does when she's nervous and I'm like no fucking way. Like sure I shouldn't overthink too much, but generally when your gut is telling you something, you should follow it, or at least be on higher guard. With this dude being a total man whore and my girlfriend laughing and giving those signals that I know because I'm her boyfriend, something definitely couldn't be good there. That shit went on for a few weeks and it actually started to affect how I'd act around her at work. I just felt rigid and out of whack and couldn't focus or laugh at the things I normally would. She was definitely picking up on it too, to where she started prying me for what was wrong. Eventually I just told her that I didn't think it was a good idea for her to be talking to Jake and that I saw it as disrespectful to our relationship because he's obviously just trying to get laid. My blood pressure was through the roof telling her that, because we've never had a situation like this come up in our relationship and we've always been extremely close and compatible with each other. I never thought I'd need to tell her to stay away from some guy, I just figured she'd be able to pick up on the cues pretty easily and turn him down. She paused for a second and then responded in a way that I thought was a bit suspect and just overcompensating. She was like, baby no, I love you so much, it means nothing to me. Like it would have been more sincere if she just told me a flat out okay, I'm sorry, I understand, or whatever. 
To what I thought at the time was to her credit, I did notice after that conversation she stopped talking to him in the days and weeks following. I was still slightly on edge just having to deal with the tension of this douchebag trying to hit on my girlfriend, but I was generally more relieved. But the seed of fear was already planted in my head, and it had me alternating between being motivated to strengthen my bond with my girlfriend, or caging up in a paranoid way. I obviously did my best to just keep things positive and for the most part things felt like they were returning to the same as usual with her and it was definitely a relief. But then, one day I got home from work and she wasn't there. She usually gets out an hour before me and if she goes anywhere, she tells me. So I shot her a text asking where she was and she didn't respond. I gave her a call an hour later and she didn't pick up. At that point it was 6.30 in the afternoon and dark out and I started thinking about all the worst possibilities. I was worried sick. Finally though, she texted me, it was a video. Now I don't want to describe what I saw in too specific detail because it disgusts me to even think about. But in the thumbnail I just saw a white tile floor and strands of dark brown hair in the bottom left corner. I was breathing heavy just staring at the text. I clicked on it and it just shows Jake laughing at the camera taking a hit of a joint and then flipping the camera to show my fucking girlfriend on her knees with no shirt or bra on. She was sucking his dick all enthusiastically, I'll never forget the noises I heard. It felt like my peripheries just went black. I turned off my phone and chucked it and just started pacing until I finally grabbed a moving box and packed all of her stuff into it. I drove to her parents' house and dropped it off and then I texted her dad the video, saying I will no longer be seeing her. I burnt every bridge that night and completely hardened my heart. Since then, I've trusted no one except family and my one very close friend. I don't think I'll ever talk to any girl again because I genuinely thought I could trust this girl that I once loved, but she completely spat on me. I will never be the same again. Wow, once again, another OP that handled this very well. Look man, if I'm being honest, I think douchebag Jake did you a favor by showing you exactly what kind of girl she is. You did the right thing by kicking her to the streets with no questions asked. Getting violent with douchebag Jake will just jeopardize your employment and could possibly send you to jail. Just let karma do its thing. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat Sun to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.